Good morning, everybody. This is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards. Welcome into another episode of Saturday Morning Makes. I think today is either our 39th or 40th episode for this year, which means we're getting close to that 52 week mark to Christmas time and the end of another year. Um, I don't know about you guys, but this year is just flying by for me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't believe that uh, fall and um, Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas are right around the corner again. So um, I hope that you guys are all having fun creating. Uh, there were beautiful projects again this past weekend, and uh, I still have been catching things. People are uploading at different times sometimes that better fits with their schedule. So a lot of times there's things to see throughout the week. Um, but so fun to see all the beautiful things that people are creating for the upcoming holidays, for Halloween, for Thanksgiving. Um, I've seen little turkey things coming out, turkey ideas, um, things for place settings and all sorts of stuff uh, for Christmas um, and all the holidays. So uh, anyway, I'm so happy that everybody's enjoying Saturday Morning Makes as well as all of the other hashtags. Um it's fun to see Two Crafters, One Design, which is Mo and Gloria, and you see why I'm a diva, and, and uh, they've been um, including, you know, pulling other people in, and they did fireplaces this week. Um, I don't think I have a fireplace die set. Um, I think I might have a fireplace stamp set somewhere, but um, anyway, I if I had any more time, I would definitely want to play along, uh, and of course, Anna White always does her inspiration, and uh October's theme is baking, so that's exciting because who doesn't know the, how much I love baking? And uh, my theme uh, for my share today actually is baking theme, so it fits right in with Anna's um, hashtag, and I'm not sure what uh, Mo and them are doing this week, but um, I hope that you guys will follow with Two Crafters, One Design, and all of the other hashtags that are out there, Crap, scrap and, uh, use your scraps and stash. Sunday, which is Claire's over in the UK. Welcome to all the UK followers, people in France, Australia, all around the world. So glad that you're joining us today. Um, I'm going to dive right into projects. And I also have some shares. Uh, Lucinda, one of my... Um, uh, one of my crafty followers, Lucinda Christensen, had asked me some question about bells. So I'm going to share a little bit about jingle bells, either on a separate video after this one, or if I have enough time in this video, I'll do it towards the end of this video. But I also have some uh, product announcements and stuff today too, so I may have to do a separate video. We'll see. But let's go ahead and dive in. So um, I'm going to show you the project that I made today to share for my Saturday morning makes. It uses this beautiful jam jar. Um, this is die 827YY. This is from Impression Obsession, so IO Stamps. And uh, of course, it's from the beautiful design work of Anna White. I don't think her name is on this die. Um, so, but this is one of her dies. And uh, this, I believe, also was featured in a Whippersnapper stamp, if I remember correctly. Anna, correct me if I'm wrong. But somehow I think there's a stamp related to this also. But this is her concept and design. And uh, you can see I have some bits and pieces in the back here. Um, and I don't have magnets in these. I just keep them in the product packaging that they come with. Because um, that makes it easier for me. Uh, the other thing that I used, and you may have seen me post about this on Instagram. But I use this little tiny ginger charm. And um, with it, I use one of my teeny tiny peachy keen face stamps and these are some really tiny face stamps that I asked Kathy to make when we were developing um, my favorites assortment of her peachy keen face stamps so these are all of her faces some of my very favorite faces along with some cheeks that I designed that she added in and uh, these little teeny tiny faces are made to fit um, this baby charm and then there's also a face I think now this charm has this so you can either die cut this without the face piece in or with and I also have faces that fit this so both of these um, are just so sweet to use on your tags so this is Karen Berniston's winter charms 1018 so I use that die I of course use my PK 3000 Jill favorites assortment and I use this A5 polymer stamp set from Lily of the Valley. So Lily of the Valley stamps are the LOTV Digi Shop on Etsy. And it's the Baked with Love tag. So I also use these. And uh, I'm going to show you the tags that I created. Okay. 
And uh, the first one is this one here. And the other dye that I used is uh, the Peachy Keen Gingerbread dyes. And you've seen me show those many times. They come in three sizes, and this is the smallest size on here. And what I created here is just a little um, cookie jar with gingerbreads in it. And these are shakers, and there's a little bit of sequin mix um, inside uh, the cookie jar with the cookies. And the sequin mix that I used is this one here, and it is one that I picked up on a clearance um, at Spellbinders, um, and it's called Confetti Sparkle Elements Clear Sparkle, and it's a Fun Stamper's Journey product, and I believe it still is there for clearance, so if you're interested in it. But these are just little flat um, glitter sequin. Uh, here, I'll show you. I'll open it so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so they're not really sequins, they're like a larger size glitter, and uh, that's what I put inside the cookie jar. Okay, so that is what you kind of see in here floating around. Um, and then I just used a variety of papers. Um, these were mostly cut papers, like leftover pieces that were in my stash, okay? So I have a big bin where I keep all of my, um, you know, if I die cut, if I cut up a 12 by 12 piece of paper, obviously I'm not gonna use it all necessarily in one sitting. So I always keep all my scraps organized and I just pulled from my scrap bin to create all of the tags that I'm showing you today. Um, and then here's that little five cent gingerbread cookies um, little tag that I added and I did add an eyelet to it. And then I added two little rusty um, bells to this. And these are um, bells that I get at Factory Direct Craft. Um, but I'm sure you could also get them many places. Um, so that's what this is on here with a little garment pin that's pinned through um, this ribbon. And the ribbon is 1 8 inch velvet um, trim. And uh, this might be the velvet trim I got from Amador, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the first one, and I made a series of these. Um, let me move this out of the way here for a second. Um, so, and a lot of these use papers from Irala Miha Shop on Etsy because I use a lot of her papers and I do end up with scraps left over when I do cards and stuff. So this was a scrap. This is a scrap from Paper Tray Ink, this pink gingham in the back. There's my two sweet little gingers, and of course the little faces are from my Peachy Keen Face Stamp, PK3000. And then um, I did this little yummy tag from LOTV Digi Shop, and then two of the little foil jingle bells, which I told you I got on eBay years ago. I bought a huge bag of these. And so I just added those to this. And then this is some um, wired uh, tinsel trim. And uh, I will show you where I get that from. I do have a source of that. But this was actually a piece that my friend Elise gave me. Hello, Elise. Um, happy wedding. Her daughter's getting married soon. Um, but anyway, this is uh, one that uses, again, mainly uh, in a Rala Miha shop paper. So there's the first two. And then uh, I have a whole series here to show you. Um, here's one that is done with a, a cute little... Um, craft colored uh, snowflake paper and then you can see this one has a lot of shaker bits in it <laughs> and then the two little gingers and uh, this one says five cent gingerbread cookies again and on this one I added the little peachy keen face stamp to that tiny ginger charm and I used my white gel pen just to create uh, the little details on the ginger and this one is tied up with some beautiful pink seam binding and uh, some crinkled seam binding. This is more than likely from Paper Sweeties and when I was a creative designer there. Um, but I also have some rolls of seam binding, but this one looks like one of Debbie's beautiful ones. So, um, you know, so these just turn out so cute. Uh, the backs on some of these I have, uh, you'll see uh, that are they're just white, but then on the backs so of some I have patterned paper. And you can finish them either way, depending on if you're gonna use them as a tag to like do gift giving or if you're going to do, um, you know, if you think you're going to have someone use it as a Christmas ornament. So it just depends on how you want to finish it and what you're going to use it for. So there's that one. And then here's another one. Uh, this one I added a little flag to it. Um, I had some leftover book paper um, and it's, I realize it's upside down, but it's just to kind of draw your eye into the sentiment. And, uh, and then there's those jingle bells. Here's some more of that tinsel trim. This one happens to be in white. And uh, 
And then uh, this paper again is a Ralamija shop and then just some scraps from my stash. And I love how cute the little gingers turn out with the little faces and you can just decorate them so cute just using a gel pen or you can add buttons and bows and all sorts of little details. Here I drew clothes on this one you can see. And uh, this one's again says gingerbread cookies. I love this stripe paper. I think this is a leftover either American Crafts. It might be American Crafts. I think it's from a paper pad, a Christmas paper pad that I have. And then this one I tied with a little bit of twine too. And then it has the red um, velvet up at the top with a couple of tiny six millimeter um, red jingle bells. Okay. And uh, so there's that one. And there's a couple more. This one has the little gingerbread is actually cut out of some wood grain paper from a Ralamija shop, just a little scrap that I had. And uh, there's the gingerbread cookies again. This one has a green bell to kind of pick up on this mint green paper that has roses in it. And you can see the shaker bits in there again. And uh, the two little gingers. And uh, some green seam binding on that one. And then this last one again has that tinsel trim. Um, it, it, this one says love cookies. So it has a little heart in the word cookies. I love that. And then two of the pink jingle bells. And, uh, and then this one has um, the gingers again, this one with heart buttons, and then some of that shaker bits in there. And this one happens to be pink gingham paper. Um, and then uh, that snowflake paper for the lid on this one. So they're all uh, just very simple, um, similar tags, but I have a whole set of them ready for Christmas. And then while I had the die set out, um, I was cleaning my kitchen and I had this um, piece of plastic like this box um, from Trader Joe's and it was made out of this thick plastic. And um, I thought, I wonder if I could die cut it. <laughs> so I cut a piece out of it and I did run it through with the die and uh, it does cut, um, this is really thick. I mean, you have to see how thick it is. Um, and uh, so it, what it did was it scored into the plastic and then I took my, um, my, T my Tim Holtz scissors and I just cut around the score line to get the jar shape. Then I die cut the paper pieces of the jar and added it onto the plastic. And you can see the plastic even has, I don't know if you can see it really well on camera, but there's an expiration date printed right here. And I purposely cut it with the expiration date there because <laughs> I just thought it was kind of cute, like a expiration date on a jar. But, um, Anyway, so uh, you can use plastic packaging to make little clear glass jars. And so that is what this is. I know you can't really see it very well. I'll put it up against here. But it is just clear plastic packaging. And then I took my strawberry jam stamp from Diana Markham. Um, and I added that to the label here. So these would be so cute. Like if you wanted to give some homemade strawberry jam at Christmas time. Or even just for gifts any time of the year. Um, I thought this would be a neat presentation and it made me think of my friend Paula who puts up a lot of um, uh, preserves and different things, chutneys, things like that. And uh, I, I should send these to her to, you know, to use um, because I haven't been doing much canning lately. But they did demonstrate uh, Deb, Diana's um, strawberry jam freezer recipe. So I may have to eventually try that. And then these would be really cute tags to attach to a gift of freezer jam to somebody. So um, I did a strawberry jam one. And I did another strawberry jam one with this paper here. Um, and this is just a really cute gray uh, rose pattern paper. So that one also has the strawberry uh, jam sentiment on it from Diana Markham. And then, uh, and that's the, with Adorn It, um, her stamp club. And then this is the strawberry jam um, stamp that Diana did. And I shrunk it down um, and uh, you can stamp it and then color it, then scan it. <laughs> and you, there's an app on your phone in the notes that allow you to scan things. So you put it in really good, bright light near a window, and you can scan it in and then um, shrink it down. So I shrunk this down, and, uh, and then I made this little label to go on the front of this jar. So um, this is her beautiful... Um, recipe for the freezer jam okay so this would be a neat way to present the recipe to someone also 
Um, but I just love these clear tags. I think it's a fun option as something different to try out. And then I also did one with her Peach Preserves um, stamp. And I co just colored it with some Copic markers, colored the peach. So I think these just turn out really cute. And it kind of gives you, um, you know, some different ways of using Anna's beautiful, um, or really Impression Obsessions beautiful die set. So, you know, you can, you can do uh, Christmas tags, you can do everyday sort of tags. You know, if you were just giving a plate of cookies to someone, wouldn't that be a cute tag to put on your plate of cookies? You can do Christmas ornaments, Christmas tags, and of course you can do um, tags for jam jars and different types of, um, you know, jellies or preserves that you've put up, chutneys, even pickles, you know, so many different ideas. So I just thought, you know, this would be a neat uh, Saturday Morning Makes uh, episode to do with gift giving season upon us, as well as the fact that it's harvest season and we're still pulling things in from our gardens and, uh, you know, getting ready for, for winter, of course, but we're, it's still harvest season. There's still a lot of fruit out there. There's lots of things, um, you know, that people are trying to preserve. So I just thought this was a nice time of year to pull out your um, your jars and uh, make some tags and stuff. So those are my little Saturday morning makes, um, and I hope you enjoyed seeing them. And while I have you here, I also want to just uh, share a couple things. Um, uh, Kathy over at Peachy Keen has added some things to her shop. She's added these sprinklets, okay, and uh, these embellishments um, are from Buttons Galore, and she has the wintry mix that looks like this, and it has uh, the little snowmen in it and uh, little snowflakes and stuff, um, and I love that it has uh, the blue as well as white snowflakes. I don't know if you can see those. I hope, I hope my camera is focusing okay. There we go. And then she has this one here, which is called Santa's Treats. And this one has gingerbread as well as little candy canes and uh, the little um, mints, the little candy mints. And then she also has Merry and Bright, which brings in the color green, which I just love. So um, I was going to show you that these are the perfect little embellishment um, to add to the wonderful gingerbread dyes that... Uh, she sells in her store. So Peachy Keen, as you know, she came out with a set of uh, three gingerbread die. Um, it's a three gingerbread die set along with the hair die, which allows you to cut the hair out. And we had also mentioned um, the, uh, oh my gosh, the stencil. And uh, we actually, what she's decided to do with the stencil is to just do an SVG file for it. Um, there were some manufacturing complications. This time of year, you guys, as you get close to Christmas, it is really hard to get things made because there's so many people making extra things this time of year. And so um, she's going to put an SVG file for those of you that work with SVG files so that you can use the stencil um, during the season if you are someone that deals with SVG files. Um, if you have the die set and you die cut the plate for the hair, you can take the, the, the leftover portion from your die cut and you can set that over the, the ginger and use that to make um, a stencil out of the leftover um, discard piece, um, you know, and actually stencil this on. And I did a demo of this, um, which I may put live. It's a video that I, I did with... Um, the mock-up stencil that she gave me. So I may put that live just so you guys can see it eventually. Um, but uh, for now today, I just thought I would show you um, her cute gingers and all the different ways that you can decorate them with different types of little um, sprinklets uh, from Buttons Galore or even pom-poms. Like this one has little pom-poms on it, which I know a lot of us have those in our stashes from um, Joann's and Hobby Lobby. But I just think these look so cute. The little candy corn nose on the face on this one is colored red, green, and white. Um, so Christmas candy corn. Uh, but I just think these turn out so cute with the little um, <laughs> the little peppermints on them. So just so sweet. And uh, you can see all three sizes of her gingerbread dye right here. So you have the baby, and this is the size that I used, of course, 
in the little um, gingerbread jars that you're seeing, okay? So this is a wonderful die set. Again, it comes with the, the hair die, which I don't have a good representation of here because I mainly use the stencil on these when I was playing. But um, it does come with the hair dye, and I, you guys have all seen it uh, uh, from previous videos that I've done. So I just wanted to share that she does have these sprinklets, and they're on sale right now. Uh, I think it's $3.49 or something like that for a set of these um, on sale, or it might be less, I'm not sure. Uh, but those are in her store. And then the other thing that's at Peachy Keen this weekend, um, and it's been out for a few days, are the monster faces. So she has zombies, monsters, and uglies. So four different um, Halloween um, monster face sets, if you will, are also in her shop. So some of you had been asking for those. Those are at Peachy Keen Stamps right now, and they are on sale. So those and the new sprinklets are all in her store. And of course, the gingerbreads are still there too. So um, that's my update for Peachy Keen. And then I did want to remind you about the promotion I'm doing in the month of October with Betty of Arala Miha Shop, okay? So Arala Miha um, Shop has offered us a discount. Betty has offered us a discount of 15% off an order minimum of $250 US dollars uh, from October 1st to October 31st. And you just have to use um, the promo code JILL15. Okay, so that's the promo code for you. And I'm going to be sharing four projects throughout the month. And if you didn't see this week's project, it's this cute little uh, gingerbread tag using her beautiful um, gingerbread dolls that um, this is a dress printable that I showed in my last video. So if you haven't seen this video, go back and take a look at it. I share all the files that she sent me, um, brand new files that she has out for the upcoming holidays. She has Halloween dresses in her shop. She has Christmas dresses in her shop. Christmas dressed up gingers with faces, without faces, as well as new papers and just even some lace dresses and lace papers. There's just so many new things. I, I might even do promotions in November for her because she has so many beautiful new files. We can't even show them all this month. So um, you'll wanna go take a look at her shop and use the discount code while you can because you're gonna get 15% off your purchase um, as long as you spend $2.50. And it does include the whole shop. So there's other things in her shop also, including things that Betty has made. She's an incredible artist. Um, but I used her antique Christmas tags as well as her gingerbread printable with the little dresses. And then this little candy cane um, is just from Hobby Lobby. And I added that to the tag. And I also added this little piece of lace. And I did extend the tag just slightly um, at the bottom. I cut a 110 pound piece of cardstock in a tag shape the same as the antique Christmas tags and I just made it a little bit longer so I could add this strip of lace and have the ginger set sit just below the happy Christmas title. So I just needed a little more space at the bottom and that's how you can always extend a tag and then just add lace across the piece that's showing. So that's what I did here and I will be bringing you three other projects using her beautiful digits, digitals during the month of October. And uh, so I hope you guys will check her out. Her digitals are very easy to use. If you have a computer and a printer that prints color ink, you can print them at home. If you don't, you can purchase them and uh, store them on a disk drive and take them to any local copier and they can print them out for you if you're interested in using digitals. Okay, so that is it for um, that part. And I'm gonna see, I'm at 23 minutes. So I'm gonna end here, um, right here. I'll just stop the video right here um, with these projects. And I'm gonna do the bells in a separate video, you guys, okay? So everybody, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I can't wait to see what everybody's been creating. To everybody that plays along, thank you so much. And to everyone else that has hashtags, add your hashtag um, in the uh, comment area of my video so that other people know that you have a hashtag on your channel that you want them to follow. I would love to spread the word for all the different inspiration um, that's out there. So um, it's so fun to get to know other crafters that you haven't met yet and to see their beautiful makes. And uh, I've gotten to know a lot of people through Saturday Morning Makes, and it's a lot of fun meeting new people from all over the world. So thank you to everybody that's joining in. Um, hello to everybody over in the UK and around 
the world, in France and Greece and Italy. There's people from all over the place, Australia. Um, I think we even have some Ireland people now. So I can't think of her first name right now. Um, anyway, there are new people, so welcome to everyone that's joining in. Everyone have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, okay? And remember that stamping is a celebration of the heart. All right, bye now.